Hello guys, what you're about to watch is a lesson of my upcoming course, which I started shooting this week. It's about Laravel Jetstream and specifically the Upwork task that I found, Upwork job, bootstrap Laravel app with Jetstream with listings and form to add and edit listings. So I'm creating that throughout that course. And in this lesson you're about to watch, I'm explaining the blade components in Jetstream. So in Jetstream, there's something like X Jet section border or X app layout or X slot. In this lesson, you will find the explanation of what that is and how that works and how to customize it. If you want to be notified of when the actual course is launched, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button that you would be notified of new videos because I will totally shoot a new video when the course is launched. Or if you haven't, you can subscribe to my weekly newsletter where every Thursday I see just general Laravel news, links and tutorials and I will notify you through that as well. And now let's see how Jetstream tackles blade components. So let's continue our journey through Jetstream structure and explanation of various parts. And in this video, let's tackle XJet something, so blade components. So what is under XJet section border? Or what is under the hood of X app layout or X slot? In fact, there are two types of blade components used in Jetstream. First is for the specific element, like section border, or for example, in update profile information form, you can find XJet label and XJet input and input error. So for specific element, there's a blade component. And second type of those blade components is for the layout. So in show blade, you can see app layout for the layout of the whole page. And then there is a slot for the header. So first things first, what is xjet section border? All of the HTML tags with x dash jet dash that you find anywhere in Jetstream refers to the set of components that are by default in vendor. So you can navigate, not sure if you see in this video, so vendor. Laravel, Jetstream, Resources, Views, Components. And then there's a list of around 20 components like action message, button, banner, input, form section, and for example, XJet section border corresponds to section border blade. And it actually looks like this. So nothing really fancy, no more complex HTML, it's just blade component for horizontal line in Tailwind. And this is all bound together in Jetstream service provider there's a method called configure components where there's a list of register component one by one and that register component actually is blade component like you would register a typical blade component in your laravel project just with a prefix of jet so it may look complicated on the first glance but under the hood it's still a typical blade component logic and those components were created just to not repeat the whole thing. So for example, everywhere we need the horizontal line, this part would be repeated over and over. And instead of that, it is extracted into a component. Now you may have a question, how do we edit those components if they are all in vendor? So it's not accessible publicly. To do that, the Jetstream documentation has the command vendor publish Jetstream views. Let's run that. Okay, so it's published to resources views vendor Jetstream. Let's open that. Let's close the vendor and we have resources views vendor Jetstream components. And let's try to edit that section border. So now it's in the public section border. And let's see how it looks visually by default. So something like that. And let's try to change, I don't know, for example, PY4 refresh. And we have smaller margins for that line. So this is how you can publish the views and then edit however you want. And now I will explain the second kind of blade components, which is app layout and slot. It's really, really similar like you would add in Laravel section and extends the layout. It's just transformed into blade components language, but it's doing the same thing as extends and section. So that X app layout is not even registered in any provider. It's public. So you go to app, view, components and you have two components public app layout and guest layout like this and all they do is return layout guest or layout app which is in resources views layouts app blade so this is the main app the main blade of your Jetstream component and this is the header so if we open the blade documentation blade components you can make the component for the layout component this is the documentation, so you can create the layout blade. You can create slots within that layout. So X slot name title corresponds to this title. It's pretty similar to yield or section, as I said before. So what is happening in this case? 
in app blade php there is a header and then in the show blade the header is replaced by x slot with name header so this text should be the same as the name of the variable here and then everything within the slot variable is replaced by all the other html like this so i hope now you have clearer understanding of how blade components work in jetstream and how to customize the layout however you want